talking about dental sealants. I'm here with Riley, a dental assistant here at The Tooth Doctor in Edmonton at the Ellerslie location. And today she's gonna break it down for us about, just kind of give us an idea of what sealants are and just all the facts about them. So I have a quote here from Soupy Sales and it says, be true to your teeth and they won't be false to you. Kind of a funny quote. <laughs> Uh, the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey says that 30% of children 6 to 11 have dental sealants. It's mm -hmm. kind of surprising actually. Yeah. And 38% of adolescents 12 to 19 have dental sealants. That's so, right. Yeah. Sealants are very important for you. So can you help us understand what mm -hmm. are dental sealants? Well, um, dental sealants are a very thin plastic layer and then we just put on the chewing surface of the back molars just to prevent to get future cavities. So most people will benefit from that. Even myself, I have dental sealants. Oh wow, I think mm -hmm. I might have to look into that. <laughs> it's kind of hard to reach there with mm -hmm. the toothbrush, exactly. especially for children. Mm -hmm. So okay, then how do the sealants actually work? Okay, so for a tooth, a normal chewing, the back molar, um, it has depression, so we call pits and fissures. So it's really hard for your toothbrush to reach. So even with flossing and proper brushing, um, sometimes you still get a cavity on that surface. So with the sealant, we put a coat on that surface and it covers the whole surface, the pits and fissures. So even though I'm not saying you don't need to brush, so even though your toothbrush will get into there, you probably won't get a decay in the future. Mm -hmm. So, do you put them on teeth that have ever had a fill or have a filling in them? Um, no, because fillings and sealants are different. So once okay. you need a filling, that means the tooth has decay. Okay. So sealants are only put on the tooth that doesn't have decay. So that's a different thing. Okay, yeah. great. So who can get sealants? What kind of people get mm -hmm. them? That's a very good question. Um, we usually do sealants on, on kids and teenagers because um, because of the oral habits, you know, um, and then the way they brush their teeth, especially younger kids, um, they might not be able to brush their teeth properly. Um, we do sealants on them, but we also do sealants on adults. I myself got sealants when I was in dental assisting school. Um, I really benefit from them. So I haven't had a cavity on my back teeth for years. Oh, wow. I know. Yay. It's, it's saving me a lot of money. Yeah, and pain. I know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's yeah. important. Yeah. So how are sealants applied to the tooth? Um, it's a very simple procedure. All we need to do is have, we have to keep that area dry. Mm -hmm. So we will usually put a cotton roll there and then a piece of gauze. Um, to make sure that area is completely dry. Normally for kids, um, if a kid is very, very young, that sometimes the kids won't be able to keep their mouth open big and stay still for a long time. It might be tricky, but most patients are very good in our office. Um, they will keep their mouth open for one season, I'll say one minute to one and a half minute, keep their mouth open big, and then we dry that area, put it some, rinse it off, and then dry it and put an acid solution, we call it etch, to etch on the tooth, make sure to prepare that tooth, and then rinse it off, dry it again, put a sealing on, you use a light to cure it, make the sealing hard, that's it. Wow. It's nice and quick, a minute and a half. Wow, that's actually, yeah. that's actually very easy. That I mean, sounds very wise. easy, and it's actually very easy. <laughs> oh, easy to do. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great. Mm -hmm. So why are they used primarily on children? You kind of mentioned it already, yeah. but... Um, yeah. um, a lot of patients, they think um, baby teeth are not as important as adult teeth because, you know, they're going to fall off and they're going to have your adult teeth. But um, in some cases, I do have a lot of patients, they came in and they have very decayed baby teeth and they're still too young to pull those teeth out. So we end up have to do a baby root canal. Those first are painful mm -hmm. and then kids won't be able to stay still for that long and also it's, it's kind of costly. So, um, and it's not a very good experience for kids. So they will be afraid to come to the dental office. Um, then in that case, and then we don't want to pull a baby tooth out too early. So um, in that case, we want to prevent those, um, I can't say unnecessary procedure, but if we can avoid those procedures for the kids, I think kids and parents will be really happy. Yeah. So once you have sealants on those baby teeth and then prevent future cavities. 
That yeah. actually sounds great. <laughs> I'm have to look at that for my yeah. kids. So how effective are the sealants at preventing future cavities? Um, it really depends on your oral habits too. Mm -hmm. If a sealant is pr um, applied correctly, so it should be it should last for a very long time, it sh and then the tooth should be cavity free. That surface should be cavity free. A lot of people think uh, once I have a sealant, then I don't have to brush on the tooth. That is wrong. Oh. So you still have to brush. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes the sealant, because of your chewing habits, it can chip or anything can happen. It might have a leak. So you still need to brush your teeth. And um, but if you do your brushing, flossing, right, like every day, yeah. twice a day. And um, it should prevent cavities in, I would say, 99% of the time. Wow. I, I have, like myself, I, had, um, I have sealants and I'm, like, I'm not a really good flosser. Yeah. <laughs> but um, twice a day of brushing, I haven't had any cavities on my back teeth. So oh, it's really yay. good. It's um, almost 11 years. Yeah. Oh, wow. That mm -hmm. is actually quite a long mm -hmm. time. That's great. Yeah. yeah. So you kind of answered this question, how long do they last? You say 10 to 11 years. That's... Yeah, like on the textbook, it will yeah. say it can last up to 10 years. Wow. Just like my two veneers on my two front teeth. My older dentist, previous dentist told me I had those done. And then they're saying two to 10 years. Oh. I had it for, I still have it. I have it for 13 years already. Oh, wow. It came off once and then Dr. Peter Yu actually glued it back on. Oh, wow. And it's still good. I yeah. was chewing the pork bone and it came oh. off. And I was <laughs> oh, so no. scared, you know, like yeah. you look completely different without yeah. a front tooth. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's really, wow. um, we say that and it really depends on your oral habit too. Yeah. And then your diet, the mm. food, what, as an Asian, we chew a lot of bones. I don't know why. Oh. So <laughs> it, it might, you might, you might chip more like, or like it might chip, um, how do I say more often than the other people, they have a different kind right. of diet. Right. So yeah. no, that makes sense. Yeah. Sure. It really depends. So we do uh, recommend, um, all the, like our patients come back to us, like kids every six months, yeah. adult every 12 months, just to have a dental checkup done. And then we can always check your sealants if they're chipping or if they're gone, we can always um, put it back on. Nice, that's great. Yeah. So uh, can sealants be placed over cavities? You kind of already mentioned this, so not yeah, really. Yeah, not really. Um, cavity is a different thing. We do need to do a filling on the cap decay tooth. So um, we do need to drill, like a lot of patients, they do need to get freezing and then mm -hmm. we have to freeze the area and then we have to cut the area, the decay tooth, and then we have to do a lot of different procedures. That's why sealants are very important yeah. to prevent getting future cavities and you don't have to get a filling done. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And is there BPA in sealants? I will have to say it is a very tricky question. Um, they, um, a lot of researchers, they do say there is a, a very, very small amount of BPA. And normally researchers, um, they found on the research um, three hours after dental work. Um, there is a very um, small amount of BPA being released from that um, any composite filling or sealants, but that's really not harmful. Like that's, that's such a small. Amount. That's a, such a small. Amount. It's just like you take a, a dental X-ray. A lot of right. patients, um, they're afraid of taking dental X-rays, mm -hmm. and it's. Um, I I just read an article. It says a one hundred dental X-rays equals you fly from Edmonton to Vancouver. Oh wow! So um, yeah. we do have some dosimeter on the side, like we put it on and then yeah. we take x-rays we know if we have any exposure to x-rays mm -hmm. um we none of us got any exposures from that um the dosimeter from taking x-rays i know oh, dr peter wow. used the only one he has some readings on his dosimeter because he put his dosimeter accidentally beside his charger so he was charging his phone and his dosimeter is right beside the charger so he got some exposure from the radiation oh wow yeah wow so don't charge your phone while you're calling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so are there any side effects with sealants? BPA will be the only one, but it's really, really, really minimum. So the, the benefit outweighs the side effect. Right. And also it's very, um, it saves you money. A uh, sealant is about, well, I would say one fourth of the cost of a filling, mm -hmm. one surface filling. So, and it's wow. painless and it's um, very short procedure. So um, for me, it's totally side effects free. There's not. 
yeah, to me. It so. makes sense to do yeah. it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for answering all those great questions. <laughs> you had lots of good answers there. Hmm. And thanks for joining us today here at the Tooth Doctor here in Edmonton to on our YouTube channel. And we hope that you liked what you saw. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel <laughs> to stay current with all the latest information. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.